good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to Monday the 21st of September. Another Monday. How bonkers is that? Um, so, how are we all this fine day? I am absolutely pooped, is one word to describe it. Um, Monday is always a busy day, um, so up early, crack a dawn for work. Don't get me wrong, I actually like being up at work, it's just with my fibre and everything else, my body doesn't like me being up early, but I actually do like being up early. I know that sounds quite contradictory. Um, so it was nice seeing the sun come up a little bit, and it was a bit brisk this morning, let's just say. Um, so, yeah, had steps on, had my new step CD, um, what's it called, Tears on the Dance Floor. It's brilliant, I have to say. I was thoroughly enjoying it, full blast. Waking me up in the morning, on my way to work, feel good factor, absolutely brilliant. So I think there's another one, so another um, album, so I'm going to I'm going to search that out. I love Steps, you can't beat a bit of Steps, I'm sorry. I know that makes me sound really old, but Steps are good. They're musical, which makes a nice change. Um, so, went to work, did, did that. Came, came, well, came home via, obviously, via town. Had to go to the works um, because I needed to get some, um, excuse me, packs of cards. Um, and, of course, they have the two for two pounds, two packs of cards. So, 16 cards for two pounds. So, and they're very nice. Nice to write in. They don't smudge the ink and everything. Um, so, that was good. Came home. Um, and had a note through the door from Hermes. Um, I knew I was expecting one, um, like large envelope, which had the card making kit in it. So I was expecting that, but then, then I'll show you, hang on, there was a painkiller, nothing exciting. And then I get this as well. It's enormous. And as you do, well as I do, you look at the box trying to work out what it is instead of actually opening the box, don't you? And um, it says it says to me and my address and then it's, it's just got a postcode and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I've no idea. I really don't have any idea what this box is. So, let me put my flute down because I can't manage. I'm not that talented. <clears throat> so I've opened the box. And I'm not going to show you everything. Um, very well wrapped. So in this box... Is this card, first of all. Which tells me who it's from. And it's from my bestie. My bestie, Emma. Who I've not properly spoken to in ages, but my bestie Emma lives in Ipswich. And she sent me a box of goodies. So first of all, I see Tesco shortbread. <laughs> if, if you like shortbread, it doesn't matter if you're gluten free or glutinous, doesn't matter. If you like shortbread, buy Tesco's gluten-free shortbread. It is incredible. It's also very Moorish. Um, so that's why I don't buy it very often. But Emma and I both love this. So Emma, th if you're watching this, thank you so much. This has made my day. It really has. I was feeling a bit rubbish. Um finding it a bit difficult not having any physical contact with anyone for a hugger like me not actually having had a hug off anyone since lockdown started it's quite tough i have to say that i have to say that so this came at precisely the right point so there's a little gift a little gift thing which is rose because Emma knows that I love roses. Roses are my favourite flower. 
because I love the scent of them. It have to be fragrant roses. I love the scent of them. I love the colours and the patterns of them. And I love it in little things like this. So gluten-free biscuits, the best thing ever. Massive block of galaxy. Thank you so much, Emma. And then there's various other things. And then, which is really nice because Emma's, Emma's a uh, witness as well, is um, this. It's a gem jar. This is a little jar of scriptures that I find encouraging and comforting, and I hope that you will too. And then there's just loads of them. So I'm looking forward to having a bit of a delve in there. So we all need a bit of encouragement, don't we? So how, how lovely. Thank you so much, Emma. That's absolutely made my day. Totally unexpected, which makes it even more special and precisely at the right time. So thank you so much um really means a lot oh yes when i was in the works <sighs> because uh oh and that was it uh, a huge coloring book in there as well because she knows i'm into my coloring in at the moment so thank you so much emma that will keep me going for ages on the coloring in theme color your own calendar uh so that should be good um i find it very um i think the technical word is mindful isn't it i find it very relaxing to go to bed so i have on um usually amazon prime playing something softly and then i'll be just coloring in while i'm waiting for my meds to kick in my nighttime meds to kick in and i just find it extremely relaxing i think that's why i like crystal art as well it's just very relaxing so yes I know I'm a big kid but I don't really care anymore to be perfectly frank I don't care um so I'm just gonna finish my my meds disgusting why does medication have to taste foul um the thing is on a Monday especially on a Monday when I walk through the front door after having been to physical work because of how my leg is at the moment uh, I'm pretty beat and in much more pain than normal so I kind of like hobble around the house like a 90 year old I feel that if somebody bought me a Zimmer then probably I'd do quite well I probably look the part on Monday so yeah, so um, once that had been delivered, somebody came to drop off a piccolo that needs to be fixed. And then I was teaching Andy and then I've just had a little bit of time. So I'm teaching again literally in 20 minutes. So um, I'll wrap this up. I did do some proper practice earlier as well. Andy, you'll be delighted to know. Um, so today's piece is by Mr Garibaldi again. Um, this time it's Grazioso for two flutes. That's, that's, it doesn't say any more than that, really. Um, and it's in 3-4. Now, anyone that knows me uh, musically knows that I have a bit of an issue with 3-4. So it could go well, or it might not. Um, I don't know why I have an issue with 3-4. I just find it incredibly difficult to play music that's in 3-4. I don't know. Um, ironically... One of my ATCL pieces was in 3-4 and one of my LTCL pieces in, is, try that in English, one of my LTCL pieces is also in 3-4. <sighs> Who knows? Um, so that's kind of it. Yeah, I'm teaching from five till half six and then, uh, then it's writing up lesson notes and emailing them home uh, and then I've got band quiz later tonight um oh yes and richard um my fabulous music studio producer cd producer uh mu music studio producer extraordinaire even um we think we might be able to finish the album remotely so um i sent him a track over the weekend and he's put it together he's he's done half of it just to see what it sounded like 
and it doesn't sound an awful lot different than if it was really in the studio. So I need to make sure that I can um, that there's no banging going on next door, um, and then see if I can get a track recorded tomorrow, which would be great. Uh, and then it's just a case of him editing, mixing, working his wonder and magic on it, because I have no idea. And then hopefully, hopefully we might have an album in the next month or two. That would be awesome. Um, get it out there and then I can start planning properly for number for, for the Love Songs album. That would be really good, wouldn't it? Um, out in the new year, who knows? Um, we shall see. So yeah, so anyway, um, here is Grazioso by Giuseppe Garibaldi. really annoying. Hang on a second. That's all it was. I completely forgot how to play top off. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. Anyway, thank you for bearing with that. Um, at least I corrected it at the end. You know I can actually play it. It's so frustrating. <sighs> there we go. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a cup out and then... <sighs> sort myself out for teaching um so take care of yourselves um i believe there's another announcement tomorrow is it to do with lockdown well it's not lockdown but the whole coronavirus thing so take care of yourselves anyway be sensible people and uh try and try and keep smiling see you tomorrow